Okay, let's say if I want to put my money on any one of these two things. First one, I get in a relationship and second one, PSG winning Champions League. I know both are like nearly impossible but still PSG winning Champions League the chances are near to absolute zero. I mean it's impossible. It's just like in their genes. Like of Spurs, they cannot win any title. I mean if I want to sum up the situation in this like इनके हाथ में सोने का लोटा दे दो फिर भी ये भीकी मांगेंगे सीरियसली गिव देम एनी सुपर टीम एनी सुपर कोच एज वेल एनी सुपर स्पोर्टिंग डायरेक्टर एज वेल वन थिंग श्योर दैट दे विल एंड अप बॉटलिंग चैंपियंस लीग आई मीन दैट जस्ट मेक्स यू थिंक दैट दिस होल बोर्ड ऑफ द क्लब इज जस्ट शिट I mean look at their competitor Manchester City obviously they still haven't won UCL but still there is one thing about them that they play good football they make some good investments at least they have a clear project I know we talk about these things every season every year for PSG but in this season the thing is that they didn't bottle Champions League when they lost to Bayern Munich they bottled this Champions League when they slipped up on second position in the group stage and allowed Benfica to finish first and obviously finishing first has its own perks like club rush was humiliated by Benfica it could have been PSG but you know it's in their roots but on the other hand you got to give credit to Bayern Munich as well i mean to play that kind of game for 90 minutes i mean with that same intensity from minute 0 i think it's something incredible and Bayern Munich is kind of setting example you know to play with that intensity to show that physicality on the pitch i mean it's something that should be appreciated i mean we got to give credit to their coaching staff their board members i mean they have been doing an excellent job like right? look at nagelsmann he came in last year and right now his team looks invincible especially in champions league i know there have been some problems for him in bundesliga but when it came to champions league at least for this season he has been excellent nagelsmann team has been excellent they have only considered two goals and that two against victoria plesen i mean how lucky they are And in both the legs, Bayern Munich was the team who played better football, and they deserved to go through. And if Mbappe or Messi would have connected with their magical connection, or Mbappe would have made that in behind run and scored the goal, I think it wouldn't have been fair for Bayern Munich because throughout the whole 90 minutes or 180 minutes in both legs, Bayern Munich did play a good football. I mean, they don't have this kind of super players like Mbappe and Messi. They have whole team. whole team who works who knows what's their game plan who knows what coach wants from them and they play accordingly with him and on the other side if you look psg i mean it's as man what the fuck was that midfield vitinia verati and who is that fabian ruiz i don't know what the fuck was he doing today like i don't know even he played in midfield or not but still verati made those two mistakes vitinia i mean he doesn't know what what's his role in that midfield i mean how would you sum up this midfield of psg like They don't have clear structure, and if you want to compete in big leagues, midfield is the one where everything starts and where everything goes through. I know Messi drop dips and looks for Mbappe, blah blah blah, but it's Bayern Munich, man. It won't work out. It won't work out because obviously they are not crazy. They are not oh, what to say idiot to not to guess that. I mean, look at their anti Mbappe and Messi plan. It worked out well. Building with three centre backs, especially Upamecano and Stanisic, were absolutely incredible to stop Mbappe. Staying close to him did not allow any sort of room into the box, and also keeping their midfield compact to not allow Messi to have any kind of room. And even though on some occasions he did run through with the ball, but Bayern Munich didn't know what to do. They got rough on him. I mean, yeah, it was a good game plan. If you can't stop him, just get physical with him. That doesn't sound good, but still. Anyway, in the game, PSG did got their chances but missed out. Vitinias, that was clear chance, but kudos to Delict who made that incredible goal line clearance. And talking about Delict, man, he has become so good. Like in Juventus, he was never this good, but in Bayern Munich, I mean, match by match, he's improving. He has gotten far more comfortable on the ball. He reads and anticipates the passes quite well. And along with him, Upamecano. I mean, if he empties his pocket, he will find Mbappe and some keys over there. Stanis, Stanis just did a great job today, man. Both of these guys boarded Mbappe today. But now the question is that, what's next for PSG? I mean, after spending billions and billions of money to make this super team, to attract some super coach and sporting directors as well, they haven't achieved any single thing in Champions League. Look at their record man from last 12 years they have just gone beyond quarter final just two times and that's horrible for a club who is owned by Qatar and they have n number of resources but still every season every year they make that kind of shit team i mean something needs to change something big needs to change and talking about big man big players mbappe messi and neymar first of all i'll talk about messi i think most probably he will leave psg without any doubt i mean there is no passion in that club man show me any player in the team who wants to play for the shirt who wants to play for the badge 
Nope. The only player who seems quite competitive is Sergio Ramos. I mean, on the both the legs, he was the only player who wanted to qualify for quarterfinals. Apart from him, there was no one. Van well, if you're thinking about big project, you need that kind of passionate players. You don't have that. So how the hell do you think you would do wonders in Champions League with the players who don't have passion to play for the club? And talking about other big player from the club, Neymar, who is currently ruled out for the whole season, and I think. I think he has already played his last game for PSG. And also from the owner's perspective, there is no sense on keeping him now. I mean, he did not live up to the expectations. And obviously, expectations were Champions League, but he was felled. He is felling from the day he signed for PSG. Every time whenever there was a big game, he got injured or got vanished. The only time where he played the best game of his life was against Bayern Munich, I think two or three years ago. And apart from it, I cannot remember where he stepped up in a big Champions League game. Obviously, he would have done some better things in league, but that wasn't the thing why he was bought for. And anyway, now talking about other guy from this trio, Kylian Mbappe. I mean, someone needs to save that kid from this club. And this sentence just sums up the situation because he is just ruining his career by staying in that club. That club has no ambition, no vision, and still like. Why the hell, like you wanna stay in that club and ruin your career? You had that good offer from Real Madrid. Real Madrid was crazy to bring you in, and plus you had the opportunity to becoming the new hero of one of the most prestigious club in the world. But obviously you turned it down for the money, and now you're paying for it. I hope he wakes up early and do see the things with open eyes, because for a talent like him, there is no point in staying at that club. And well, now for the coach Christopher Galtier. Well, he will get sacked. Not now. Then by the end of the season, that's no brainer. Obviously not. And I also think, I also prefer that they cannot work out with this kind of guy. Or maybe if there is not Neymar or Mbappe or Messi, or at least Neymar and Messi, I think he could make things far more better for PSG. But still, that's the other case. But still, given what he had in his team and the way his team is performing, especially in Champions League, I think his sacking is imminent. Anyway, the bottom line is that PSG is a joke and it is a shit club. Let's look onto the other game in Champions League: Spurs versus AC Milan. AC Milan got through into the quarterfinals after 11 years. I mean, that's a great, great thing for them. But when you're talking about Spurs, especially Harry Kane, well, Harry Kane needs to leave that club, man. Needs to leave. Why even the hell he also thinks that this club will bring him trophies? It's seriously absurd. And also the kind of money that club is asking for him: hundred million. I mean, come on, man. Are you joking? No club is gonna pay that kind of money for a player who is above thirty. Maybe Man United could do it if the Qatari owners buys that club. But anyway, that's just speculation. Bayern Munich is also an option, but Bayern Munich right now have Chupa Moting Nazario, who is flying right now. And also, the funny thing is that if you compare the situation of PSG and Spurs, it's kind of same. I mean, Antonio Conte will also leave at the end of the season because the board of the club thinks that the signings hasn't been that good in this season, and they are blaming Conte for it. And obviously, we all know how Conte is. If he has any kind of rubbish things that are talking behind his back, then obviously he will leave that club, and that's imminent as well. Anyway, looking onto the Champions League now, well, it's kind of wide open. I mean, Chelsea also got qualified for the quarterfinals. And as a Barca fan, I want to slap myself. I mean, how the hell did we not got even at least into the round of 16 stage? And the Chelsea, who just have scored one single goal in Premier League in February, got into the quarterfinals. I mean, football is a funny sport. Apart from Chelsea, it's Benfica, and might be Real Madrid would join them too because obviously Liverpool won't make that comeback at Santiago Bernabeu, and most probably Napoli will join them. So the Champions League now is wide open. I mean, you just cannot predict who will win it. Obviously, there is Real Madrid; they are the most favourite contenders right now. But you also cannot write off Napoli and Bayern Munich, especially Bayern Munich, because the kind of game they are playing currently in Champions League, they have to be your favourites to win it. Anyway, that's it for today. Let me know your thoughts about this video. And also, as usual, make sure to like and share this video, and do subscribe the channel. And as usual, I'll meet you soon with another new video. Until that time, as you all know, just enjoy the game.